hi and welcome to my vlog this is something i've been thinking about doing for a while but until yesterday i had a broken tooth so i looked like i had major meth mouth so there was absolutely no way i was going to make a video and share it with the world anyway so that's why i have a little bit of a lisp because my tongue is hitting my teeth before i'm used to it does that make sense so the um i have uh i went ahead and got crowns or i guess ordered crowns to go on um the top six front teeth because they've always been kind of crooked and had gaps and everything like that and so while we were going to tear up my mouth we just figured let's go ahead and do it all at once so anyway so there's a temporary crown on my teeth or a, it's all one huge piece and it's thicker than my regular teeth so when i'm talking especially if i'm saying like an s or a t i'm used to having a little bit more room in the front of my mouth before my teeth are hit by the tongue by my tongue anyway we're six months into a pandemic and i kind of have forgotten how to talk and how to make sentences um, I keep saying that I'm part feral, but anyway, so I am turning 40 in a couple of days and I figured what better time to start a vlog than when I'm hit my forties because everybody says that your body starts falling apart when you're 40, but lucky me, my body has already been falling apart, obviously with the, the teeth cause I broke a tooth eating an Atkins bar. Um, but don't let me fool you into thinking it was anything healthy. It was a s'mores bar, Atkins bar. So junk food just with lower carbs. So anyway, so that's one of the things in my life that is falling apart or on my body. Next week, I am going to go and have Botox but it has nothing to do with being vain or trying to improve my looks, which the teeth, getting all of those done obviously was not purely for vanity's sake, but a, you know, a lot for the sake of vanity. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to have Botox injections into my jaw on both sides next week. Um, I have um, TMJ and I had open joint jaw surgery about eight years ago where they went in and they screwed the disc to the um, to the lower jaw joint and they cleaned up the uh, the the lower bone of the jaw um, and got some bone spurs off and then they also had to cut some muscles um, right here so that my jaw would kind of slide back into place a little bit. And anyway, so I had another MRI on the day that um, the president declared a state of emergency. So that was March sometime. Anyway, so I had another MRI on that day and um, my jaw surgeon, who is amazing, um, looked at it and he said, um, my disc is displaced when my mouth is closed but when my mouth is open, the disc actually goes back into place. So we're gonna try Botox injections and see if that'll relax the muscles enough so that my jaw, or so that the disc will go back into place. I don't know what the plan is, if that doesn't work, but um, thankfully insurance is gonna cover it. Originally they said that they were not, but then they came back and said that they would cover it because it's for a, um, a medical condition. They had a rheumatoid, uh, a rheumatoid arthritis doctor. Well, I don't know what the technical name is. Um, review the, um, the submission first and they denied it. And so I was really sad. And, um, and then about two weeks later, I got another notification in the mail that they had reconsidered. And so that they were going to cover that. So, Next week will be an adventure in, um, in getting Botox. So I'm a little bit scared. I'm also a little bit excited. Um, I'm hoping it'll help, uh, not just with 
the pain in my jaw joint, but also maybe help with um, cutting down on my migraines some. Although my doctor's got me on some medication for prevention that's helped so much. But also probably not having to be at the office all day, every day has also probably cut down on some of my tension. Because as much as I may love my job and my coworkers and the people that come in, people are stressful. Um, not that my life is not without stress. I am also uh, virtually assisting a 14-year-old and an 11-year-old in school. And thankfully, the 14-year-old is pretty self-sufficient and she handles most of her stuff without any issues. The 11 year old has to be drugged through it, kicking and screaming, not literally. So don't call Child Protective Services on me. Anyway, so he's super smart, but he doesn't feel the need um, to let anybody else know that he's super smart. So it's a battle and it is a struggle. But I'm also going back to work um, a few afternoons a week and on the weekends. So I do get out of the house um, a little bit because for six months, sorry, my face is turning all kinds of color. My, um, my screensaver came on. Um, but for about six months, I only saw, um, not only, I got to see my husband and my children. And those were the only human beings I really interacted with um, in person. Um, I, I did FaceTime and uh, Facebook Messenger and stuff and, and talk to people that way. Um, but other than that, not really talking to people. So I started back um, a couple of weekends ago uh, going back to work and some of my college students that work for me, uh, they came back and it was, uh, it was so nice to, you know, kind of have something normal. It was the most normal that I had felt since March. Um, but anyway, so I've just rambled on. Um, next time you see me, hopefully I will have gotten my act together and I will have colored my hair because the gray is showing a whole lot and it's a really, really hot mess. And so I'm just going to be a whole new person in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm going to have, you know, my new crowns, the permanent ones put in. I'm going to have Botox in my jaw. I'm going to dye my hair. Um, I'm going to actually start wearing my regular wedding ring instead of my, um, rubber wedding ring. Um, I say, um, a whole lot. You can probably play a drinking game. Um, counting, you know, take a drink every time I say, um, and you probably would pass out, um, before, before the, you know, the clock hit the two minute mark. So anyway, that is my rambling for today. And I will see y'all next week when I'm going for the Botox injections or after the Botox injections. We'll see how I feel. All right, talk to y'all later. Bye.